Welcome back to Candy's Classic Game Shrine, everyone, and today I'm going to be showing you a close look at my Pokemon collection. Now, it isn't as extensive as many others, and few games are actually boxed. However, that doesn't stop me from buying the games. Most of these I've had since they were new, with the exception of a couple, you know, of the Japanese exclusives that I'll get into later. So without further ado, let's get in. We're going to start off right here with some custom things that I've made. This is a custom diploma. I know it says Ash. I know the player in the game was red. However, when I was a kid, I didn't know better, and I named my player Ash. And this used to be part of a thing I made for a bunch of older items I had that were Pokemon related. And the Pokeball next to it is something that I also made for that same display. Now, next up is a perler bead or pixel bead missing no that I made. It is pixel correct as far as my knowledge serves me. And yeah, I just have it here among the other perler bead things in my room. As you can see, there's some right there. Um, over here is the custom black and white 20th anniversary Pikachu custom amiibo that I did to reflect the Pikachu of the red and blue and green games. Green if you were in Japan. Over here are my original strategy guide for red and my official Pokemon handbook that I had when I was a kid. <clears throat> here, I'll give you a quick look inside. Basically, this book would go through all of the Pokemon that existed with a nice little detailed description about them. More or less like this was your Pokédex back in the day without actually having a electronic, you know, Pokédex for it. And this one I'm sure you've all seen before. This is just your strategy guide for Pokémon Red and Blue. Yellow was slightly different, so it's not the same. There were quite a few errors in this book and the one I just showed you, but uh, I always found it funny as a kid trying to pick them all out. And I really miss strategy guides like this. They don't really make them like they used to. <clears throat> now, these are Matryoshka dolls or nesting dolls. They're basically Russian in origin. However, these are themed like your Charizards, starting with the Pokeball one, and then your Charmander, Charmeleon, Charizard, and Charizard X. Or Mega Charizard X. Next here would be a Pokemon Game Boy case that was donated to me and my channel. <clears throat> Sorry guys, I'm still a little sick. This here is the 20th anniversary Mew plush from GameStop. It is the cutest and my friend Stephanie helped me get it because my GameStop near me didn't have any. And this here is a Japanese import, the I Love Mew collection. This is the Laughing Mew. It is the cutest freaking thing, and I'm a little partial to Mew, so yeah, I had to have it. I guess I'll work my way back up with the games. Here are all of the North American Pokemon games for the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance. These are all original. These are all mine since they were new and came out in the store, so there's no fakes here. You've got red, blue, yellow, gold, silver, crystal, trading card game, Pokemon Puzzle League, or Pokemon Ch Puzzle Challenge, rather. You got the ruby and sapphire pinball, although I preferred the original pinball myself. Ruby, sapphire, emerald, <clears throat> excuse me. Fire Red, Leaf Green, and Mystery Dungeon Red Team. Next up, I will show you all of my North American release DS and 3DS games. You can just get a good look here. Diamond, Pearl, Platinum, Heart Gold, Soul Silver, White, Black, etc. Of these, I was really disappointed in Black and White, at least the originals. Uh, Pokemon Conquest was definitely not my sort of thing. 
I love the Mystery Dungeon series. The Ranger series is okay. Pokemon X and Y were my favorite games in a long time. Alpha Sapphire and Omega Ruby were alright. Sun and Moon were meh. I'm hoping that Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon are slightly better. Kind of like how Black 2 and White 2 saved the original Black and White in my eyes. Next up I have the Rumble Blast, Rumble World, Art Academy, uh, <clears throat> Mystery Dungeon Gates to Infinity, and Super Mystery Dungeon. Now I have those boxes over there, but it's easier to display them all out like this for space sake. Over here, you're going to start getting into my imports as well. Here are my American release and some Japanese release N64 games. Now I'm not buying doubles of the Japanese games that I already have the American release to. At least with the N64 games you'll see in the next shelf I kind of did though. Uh, Stadium 1 and 2. Puzzle League, Hey You Pikachu, and Snap. Then I have the three versions of Pokemon Stadium that Japan got. So there's Pokemon Stadium 1, Pokemon Stadium 2, and then this crazy silver and gold Pokemon Stadium with my extra Pokewalker here. We have Rayquaza, my plush that I got at, uh, well now it's Nintendo New York, but at the time it was Nintendo World, and it rests and guards my Japanese collection. You'll see I have Pokemon Pinball, Pokemon Green, Red, Blue, Yellow, Gold, Silver, Crystal, the Trading Card Game, the Puzzle League or Puzzle Challenge Game, and yes, this is the real Pokemon card game uh, sequel. This only came out in Japan. We have my little substitute doll here. I love these things. I always found it the cutest thing when I was a kid. We have my little uh, monster perler bead art. Down here, we have some more exclusives. This is the Pokemon Treda Lab. This is, uh, it, how can I explain it? It's kind of like a home version of a Pokemon arcade game that Japan has that uses these chips, kind of like you would Amiibo. And you level them up and you can play them in the arcade and you can play them at home. These little squares are your chips. But yeah, I wish I understood Japanese. Uh, my Google Translate app does not do well enough to get the whole thing to make sense for me. Uh, this is a Charizard Y figure. There is a tiny Mew, a larger Mew, a Mewtwo in his armor, and a tiny Mewtwo here. The really tiny figures on either end are from those Power Balls from like the 90s. Mine got all yellowed, so I cut them open and took the figures out. So, yeah. And here is Pokemon, uh, Learn with Pokemon Typing Adventure. This is a game that came out in Europe and Japan, so I wanted to play this, so I picked up the English version in the European PAL region, and it is awesome. My brother-in-law loves playing it. He's about seven at the time of this recording, and it's a great way for kids to learn how to type. Over here, we have a Charizard X figure. I kind of used these when I made my custom Charizards down here. Having those figures gave me a really, really, you know, gave me a really good advantage, rather. Over. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. My dog is probably barking at the mailman at the moment. But, um, Mugen, can you please... So yeah, this game here is a Pokemon trading card game for the Nintendo DS. However, unlike the Game Boy versions, this comes with three sets, sorry, three sets of Pokemon cards, as well as the game, as well as chips, as well as the mat, and it teaches you, my apologies, my dog is being a complete derp. Can you stop? I'm going to shame you now that you're on YouTube. You're on YouTube. I'm going to shame you for barking. You barked. Now you have to be in the video. That's the price you pay. Yep, that's what I thought. But yeah, back to this uh, back to this thing here. I'll open it up and show you. This is the contents of the box. You get your tokens. You get your little chip. And you have a mat here to play your Pokemon trading card game. 
we have the actual game here and here's one pack of cards two packs of cards and the third pack of cards is right here and this is pretty much everything in the box but again since I don't understand Japanese I can't play this game and my Google Translate app does not do a sufficient job at translating for me so this will have to do I kind of wish they had one for the uh, the North American region or at least the European because I would love to learn how to play the card game. Down here we have my GameCube games starting with Pokemon Channel, Pokemon Box, Pokemon Coliseum, and the bonus disc for Coliseum, as well as Pokemon XD Gale of Darkness. Here you have my little Pokemon Pokédex from the early days and it still works. This is the inside. I used to have so much fun with this thing as a kid. I would have my Game Boy in one hand, Pokemon Red in the cartridge slot, and this in my other hand, and me and my cousin would sit there and look up other Pokemon and it would be a lot of fun. So you can go to your certain pages of Pokemon, you can go to your favorites, sort them, and quote unquote capture them. You can add a password, a clock, or use, a cal or use it as a calculator, as you can see with the number pad here. Um, but yeah, it gave cute little things. I'll show you my favorites since that's easy. Uh, list. Here we go, I have Aerodactyl. They are all alphabetically ordered. Charizard, Charmander, but yeah, you guys get the idea. <clears throat> now over here, I, I've mentioned them before, but here are my custom Charizard Amiibo. This is Charizard X. He was my first one. He's not the cleanest. He's a bit sloppy, I'll be completely honest. Um, Y was my next Charizard custom. He's much better in my opinion. I also like the design of him much more as a whole. This one is the Charizard from the first Pokemon movie, Mewtwo Strikes Back. He's a clone Charizard. And I watched the movie and tried to get the markings exact one-to-one -one as they were in the movie, so... Oh yeah, I forgot to show you. Even on this one, I did change the eye color. It was a pain in the ass, but I did it. And this one's just a simple shiny Charizard, nothing nothing special at all. He's got his little Pokeball thing there. On this shelf, you have my Wii and Wii U collection of Pokemon games, and eventually the, the Switch games that'll be coming out, such as Pokemon Battle Revolution, the first Poke Park the second Poke Park and Pokémon Tournament. As far as figures go, I just have the three Pokéballs here with my Charizard line. I've used these for cosplay when I went to Comic-Con one year. Along with the cosplay, I uh, had this little Ditto plush made and I had made this hat with the Pokéball emblem on it to wear as well. Over here is the last section of everything, and these are PC, well they're not games per se, they're PC programs where you could do things like make cards, well you can read it off the box, cards, stickers, keychains, and things like that. It comes with tattoo paper, sticker paper, and a CD that lets you do things with certain Pokemon, and much like the video games, there were certain ones that were exclusive to this version that couldn't be found in this version. These are the same program, more or less, but there were a few Pokemon missing. Um, this is just a tiny little gold bat, zoo bat, dressed up Pikachu I got from Nintendo World. This is a... I can not pronounce this Pokemon's name for the life of me, but this little hamster thing. Uh, I got him also from Pokemon, or the Pokemon Center at Nintendo World. These are some of my Pokemon boxes for the DS and 3DS games. My heart gold one is somewhere in my closet 
on the other end of this floor, but uh, I'm too lazy to look for it right now because that closet is like opening up the sun in terms of heat. But yeah, um, oh, I almost forgot. Here's my other Pokey Walker. They're all functioning, by the way. This is my Pokemon Mini. I only have one game at the moment. I might pick up the flash cart for it since I'm a sucker for flash carts and the technology. But yeah. This, however, this little thing can work with Google Translate. It does a good enough job. Over here, pardon me guys, I have to walk over my dog now. This here is the Pokemon Pikachu, the Pocket Pikachu, depending on what region you are in. And that works completely. I have done a complete write-up on all of the emotions, all the, the value points, and basically a FAQ slash walkthrough on how to make this work, since there's not much about it today. Over here is admittedly a more recent acquisition. I did not have this as a kid. This is the Pokemon Pikachu 2. This is the sequel to this version. This came out when Gold and Silver were new, and it boasted color which was pretty neat. But yeah, I have no batteries in this or else I would show you. This is my Pokemon collection, guys. I hope you've enjoyed. I don't make too many videos relating to Pokemon content because there's enough Poketubers out there. However, I can't help but be a complete nerd and love it myself. If you want to see more Pokemon content, let me know. Uh, if you've enjoyed this, leave a like. Uh, Anyone else, don't forget to comment, subscribe, and all that other good stuff. So yeah, till next time, guys. Take care.